Country Cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making roast pork with a cherry almond glaze, cheese stuffed double bakers, a 10 layer vegetable casserole, and an easy rum cake. So we're going to start with the cake because it takes an hour to bake. I have a yellow cake mix without the pudding because I'm going to add a box of vanilla pudding to it. To this, I'm going to add four eggs, a half cup of vegetable oil, and a, a half cup of rum, and a half cup of water. So we'll get going here. What I've done um, is I've floured, greased and floured up on the pan, and I've put a cup of chopped walnuts in the bottom of the cake pan. I have four large eggs, half cup of water, and a half cup of rum. I'm actually using spiced rum for this. You can use, it calls for dark rum. Spiced rum is dark, but it gives it just a little more flavor. This cake is really easy, but don't tell your friends because they're going to think it's amazing. Then after we bake it, we're going to put a glaze on it. I'm going to beat this for a, for a couple of minutes just so that we've got it good and incorporated. But before we take a quick break here, I want to tell you that if you want a copy of any of these recipes we're going to be making today, give the girls a call at the Valley office. They'd be happy to give you a copy, or you can go to the internet and click on the cow off to the right side of the home page and you'll find all the recipes there. So we'll be right back when I'm done mixing this. Okay, we've, we've got the cake beat. I, I did it for about two minutes, about normal. Once you blend it on low speed, then you finish it off on a medium high speed for two minutes. We'll pour it into the pan. This is a nice uh, cake for gift giving too, with the with the rum flavor in it. Okay, we're gonna get this in the oven at 350 for an hour, and we'll start on the pork. I have uh, roasted the pork in the oven for about an hour. With just I just seasoned it with salt and pepper. It's a whole boneless pork loin, three and a half pounds. And um, what I do is, if there is fat on your roast, you always put that on the top side of your roast so that the fat will baste the meat and you'll get a better flavor. So we're going to make a glaze for it. I have cherry preserves. This is a 13 ounce. It calls for 12 ounces, but. Uh, not going to hurt that we have the extra ounce in there. And put that in the pan. And to that, we're going to add a fourth cup of cider vinegar. Get that going here. Break that down a little bit here. And to this, we're going to add uh, a teaspoon of salt. I forgot to get that out, sorry. And we've got nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves, fourth teaspoon of each. This, is, this makes it a real nice holiday dinner if you want an alternative to beef or a turkey and the price of pork is so reasonable so you can feed a big crowd uh, with a 
you know, for a, a lot less money. Okay. Um, I also am going to add two teaspoons of corn syrup. And we'll bring this to a boil. And then we're going to reserve about three fourths cup of this and and then pour the rest over the pork and we're going to put it back in the oven and bake it for another 30-35 minutes or so. But I'm going to wait just a few minutes so that everything comes out of the oven at the exact same time. Um, Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we've got the glaze ready. I have reserved three-fourths of a cup of glaze, and to this I'm going to stir in a fourth cup of almonds. And we're going to baste the pork, basically pour it over and let, let it let it bake in and flavor the pork. Okay. We'll wait just a few more minutes so that we have everything ready to pop in because everything, all the rest of our things just take a half an hour. So we'll work on the potatoes. We have the four baked potatoes that I have I pre-baked, I've hollowed out, and we've riced the, the potatoes. So to this we're going to add uh, three tablespoons of melted butter. half cup of sour cream, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and then we have a three-fourths cup of cheddar cheese and three-fourths cup of mozzarella. We're going to put in about a half cup of each and reserve the rest to, to top the potatoes. Okay, now we're going to add our seasonings. We need garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon of, of garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to make that one heat. I like a lot of pepper in my in my food. Okay. Now we'll fill the potatoes. You can pipe this in if you want. I just spoon it in. It's just as easy to and looks a little more natural, I think. So you just fill it as full as you can fill it. You're probably all used to making the 
twice baked potatoes. This is just a little bit of a twist on it. Actually, the first time I made this dish, it called actually for more cheese, and it was like half cheese and half potatoes, so it was too much. So I kind of doctored the recipe up and made it a little more how we like it. So uh, not that there's anything against cheese, it's just that when you're eating a potato, you want it to taste like a potato and not like you're eating half cheese. So the cheese is more of an enhancement. Now remember, all these recipes can be found on the Valley website, and if you don't have internet, give the girls a call and they'd be happy to help you out with a recipe. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top and then uh, we'll add the green onions after just about when we're about ready to pull them out of the oven. I'm going to take a quick break and just clean up a little bit. We'll get those vegetables going and we'll be right back. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Here we're working on our vegetables. Uh, I have two large onions that I've coarsely chopped and I'm sauteing them in olive oil and so we're going to finish getting ready with the rest of the layers. I have a can of cream of mushroom soup and a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to add a half cup of milk to each one of these. vegetable to make when you have a dish like we have today that doesn't have a lot of sauce. If you're using, uh, you know, if you're making some kind of like a chicken de jean or something that has a, a creamy sauce, then you won't want these vegetables because they're too creamy. But um, when you've got something like that, this is a nice, uh, a nice vegetable to make. So, okay. So our breadcrumb mixture has a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese grated, a half cup of breadcrumbs and then to that we're going to add a half teaspoon of garlic salt sift that together a little bit here Okay, so we're going to start with with half of the vegetables. I have cooked and drained, I have um, lightly cooked. You don't want to cook them all the way through because you don't want them to get mushy. Um, broccoli and cauliflower, so I'll take half of the, it calls for two boxes. I could not find boxes, so I um, measured out 20 ounces because the boxes are 10 ounces. So we're going to put half of the, broccoli and half the cauliflower. OK, 
Okay, the second layer is the cream of mushroom soup mixed with the milk. Okay, the third layer is our onions. Okay, the fourth layer is our four ounce can of mushrooms. I'm using stems and pieces and I've drained the can. If you want to use uh, whole mushrooms, you can. And if you want to chop them a little finer, you can too, but I just kind of leave them, leave them whole, chunkier. Uh, our cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, the next layer is half of the breadcrumb mix, so I'm just going to kind of eye it here. remaining vegetables. Kind of breaking up some of these cauliflower pieces are pretty big. I'm kind of breaking them up as I'm spreading them. Okay, at this point then you want to kind of press it down to to just kind of compact it a little bit. Then we're going to put the cream of chicken soup with the half cup of milk. Okay, the rest of the breadcrumb mix. And then we're going to sprinkle the top of the casserole with paprika, and that's your tenth layer. Go. So it looks like this. I'm going to just peek and see how the cake is doing here. Looks like that's done, so we'll put all the other things in. I'm going to quick test the cake, make sure it's done. We'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. High definition and caller ID is now free with all TV packages. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to find out more. Okay, I, the cake was done, so we're going to put everything in the oven. half an hour we'll be done so what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the cake on a wire rack let it cool a few minutes, then we'll invert it onto our serving tray and we'll get the glaze going so I'm going to take just a quick break and wipe this up we'll get the glaze going and we'll be right back okay we're going to invert the cake and for those of you who watched one of my November shows, we're going to hope and pray that it flips out here well. Yay! Okay, now we're going to prick it with a fork so that the glaze soaks in. Okay, we're going to work on the glaze then. I have a half cup of butter melting in the kettle. 
And to this I'm going to add a half cup of white granulated sugar and an eighth cup of water. So we'll get this uh, boiling a little bit. Um, like I was saying with this cake, it's it's so simple and it's it's very impressive when you taste it You won't believe how moist it is and it makes a nice Gift or if you um, are invited to someone's house and they say bring the dessert. This is a nice thing to bring because uh, it, it looks pretty and it tastes amazing now if you're afraid of the alcohol in there uh, you can actually add the alcohol, the, the rum, to the sauce while it's boiling and that'll, that will reduce it down to just the flavor and the alcohol will be gone. If you like a little more of the alcohol flavor you can do, you know, pour a little bit of it in there and or, um, you know, pour the whole thing in or do like the instructions say and just add it after the sugar is all dissolved and, and it's done simmering. So. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is just a little bit of half and half. I'm going to uh, bring this to a boil and it's pretty close here. And I'll add a little bit of the rum and then I'm going to finish it off with, with some of the rum. Okay. I've got it to a, a low boil, so I'm going to add about half of the rum. There we go. We'll let that reduce down a little bit. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is is pour some of it over and then I'm going to um, baste it a little bit and help it uh, go down this the edges a little. And as this cake cools, the glaze will whiten. So I'm going to baste the you know the inside, the outside. And you have to be patient. It kind of feels like it's piddly and everything, but really, this is really a simple dessert. It doesn't take long at all, and it's pretty impressive. While I'm finishing this up, uh, we'll take a quick break. I want to remind you one last time that if you want a copy of any of these recipes, you can go to the internet and on the Valley Home page, there's a cow on the side that says Country Cooking. You click on that and that's where you'll find the recipes. And if you don't have internet, give the girls a call and they'll be happy to help you um, get a copy. And um, we'll be right back. Um, when the, everything's ready to pull out of the oven, it'll just be a few minutes, so we'll see you in a minute. Valley Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. 
We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecon computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swig. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. Okay, everything's ready. here. Okay. I have sliced the pork. Now this is deceiving. It looks like the pork is still raw, but this is actually cooked for about two hours. So you put a little bit of the cherry glaze on there. We have our, our roast pork with the cherry almond glaze, the cheesy stuffed double bakers, the 10 layer vegetable casserole, and our easy rum cake. Thanks for joining us today on this edition of Country Cooking. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hope we we'll see you next time.